Hi everyone. Well, today it's May 2nd, a beautiful 22 degrees Celsius weather. And today's video is going to be starting the trimmers for 2015. As you all seen, my lawnmower started beautifully. All of them started in great success. So today we're going to see how the trimmers run. So if you notice that I only have partial of my collection, uh, there's three trimmers that are missing that are not going to be shown on the video and I'll, I'll probably likely make a supplement video uh, later when I do get them back. Uh, the Home Light Z825 SD, uh, it has a carburetor issue so uh, the guy that's rebuilt my lawnmowers last year is having a look at the Home Light. He already fixed the Shindaiwa trimmer. Uh, the reason why it was ho ho so hard starting is was because my choke system assembly was cracked. So I ordered a new part and it, it got there in time. I brought it to him and it's running. And the FS70, believe it or not, it was simple as just a new spark plug. Oh well. So anyways, uh, we're going to be starting all the trimmers and see how they start. So I'm going to go from newest to oldest. And then I'll do the trimmers first and then the five steel blowers later on. All right, let's get started. I'll start off with my 2014 steel FS94R with a 24cc two mix motor. I personally love this machine and it's a such a great replacement of the older FS85. It has about 1.3 horsepower from this 24cc and it's about 10 pounds and god it's so light it's unbelievable it's a perfect trimmer for uh, the professional landscapers and I really love using this one the 250 I usually save for the bigger jobs okay so this one doesn't have an on switch so it's already on on to stop it, you just press this button here throttles like this and you have the wheel all right put it on choke Okay, give it a couple of primes. One, two, four primes should be fine. All right, let's see how this 94R starts. Hold the throttle. Oh no, actually it won't. This is what this one has semi-automatic choke, just like the. Um, FS70. And as expected, of course, starts right up. Virtually has the same motor as the the R430, except the smaller version. And exceptionally very quiet, too. Alright, let's give it a few reps. Sweet, you're next, big old 250, aka the beast. That was made in November of 2011, so it's a 2012 model, 40.2 cc. Now you can't even get these anymore. The replacement is the FS240. It has slightly more power, but it's also much heavier and more expensive than the outgoing 250. Okay, so it gas is on. Okay, put on choke. There we go, four prime, so it should be fine. And we'll see how my 250 runs. Knowing this one, I think it should be fine. Yeah, we got two pulls. 
That's sweet. Look at that purr of that 40cc engine. Mid-sized chainsaw motor. Yep, seal point zero nine five line. All right, it's gonna be smoky a little bit, so. That's sweet. For number three, this one here is a steel FS90R. This has the 28.4 cc 4 mix. So it's kind of a hybrid version of a four cycle or two cycle engine. Basically it is a four stroke that takes two stroke gas, mainly for lubrication. All right, so let's get this cap on. Twenty-five dash two auto cut head. I think maybe this year I'll probably go for an FS one ten. Okay, it's on. It's on choke. Okay, there's one, two. It might run like crap, but we'll just see. I know my last video I did have problems with it with the idle speed. I think it's I think it's off for some reason. All right, that's I'm gonna hold the throttle for this one. Yeah, you see that. Oh, sure, it's smoky. I haven't adjusted the valves yet, which is a good thing. I'll have to do it at some point. And it started from the first pull, which is pretty sweet. Well, that's usually that goes with these four mix motors. So this is a very new trimmer that's in the U.S. market. It's been a while, at least here in Canada. This is the Steel FS38 right here. And you probably are familiar with the engine design. This is basically a shorter staff version of the FS45 and the curved shaft version of the FS55. All righty. This one doesn't have semi-automatic choke like the FS90, so put it on on. Okay, one, two, three, four. There we go. Sure, you guys, I'm priming them properly. All right. This one will take a couple of pulls, but not too bad. I'm gonna predict like three or four pulls. Yeah, three pulls. That's how usually it always starts, three pulls.
This has a 27cc engine, very similar to the VG55 leaf blower. Yeah, I think this spark crusher screen needs to be cleaned on that one. But all the seals run, and which is perfectly what I expect it to be from a, such a good company. All right, now for this one right here, Home Depot Bots. Chinese engine, Home Light Mighty Light 26 SS, 26 CC. Or if you want to be more specific, it's UT21546A. Made in 2008. So, put gas in it and see how it starts. Right. What the hell is this thing? Oh, it must have been a mud dauber that tried to make a nest on my trimmer. Okay. Now, the only thing I don't like about it is that it sits much more closer to the trimmer than these guys. All right, this has roto choke, no air filter, which is not very good for this model. All right, now I've got to prime the system. Okay, gas is going in. One, two, three, four. I'm doing seven primes because that's what it tells me. All right, this is a half crank Chinese motor, so it's gonna take a lot of pulls. But, you know, for what it is, it's not actually a bad trimmer. The only thing that was wrong with it was a dirty spark plug that I replaced two years ago. Not, not, a, not a problem with this trimmer. This goes to show you, no matter what engine or brand you buy, as long as you take care of it, it'll run. Yeah, I'll hold the throttle this time. Alright, so now put on half choke. Put on choke again. It doesn't like old gas. Once it warms up, it's a good trimmer. This is running on 0 0.080 line, and this is a direct drive, not a clutch one like the other ones. So this one's going all the time. Yeah, there we go. Needs to warm up a little bit, but uh, it does run. Now for the oldie, 1995 Ryobi 700R, and this one has a 31cc, the old uh, IDC engine, the same one that's used in, I think, Yard Machines, uh, Ryan, even Lawn Boy made a trimmer. Hopefully, if I do manage to find one, that'll be totally sweet. 
but it'll be just the same as this one. This one takes a 32 to 1, so I call this one Old Smoky. All right, it's on. Choke system is over here. Move it all the way to the left. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Five should be enough for this one. All right. Let's see how this puppy goes. Okay, so I tried the fire, now put on partial. Nope. Hang on, need snip snip. Line's too long here. That was a problem. All right, now should start fine. Away. But just don't tell Al Gore. Shh. Oh yeah. Maybe that, that was the end of the line. All right, I got I got some more. Other than that, we have confirmed that the Shindaiwa and FS70 runs. So I think all the trimmers were wearing to go, except that. Home Lights 82.5 SD. We're just not sure about that one. He hasn't looked at it yet. Now for the four steel blowers. I have the BG86, the BG55, the BR430, BR550. Oh, I gotta get the 420s in the backyard, in the shed. Let me go get that one. Off with the most popular handheld blower that still offers. One of their entry models, the BG55. It's got the same motor as the FS38. Same switch too, so put on on. Choke. Okay, one, two, Okay, that should be fine. This one can easily be flooded. Okay, hold the throttle on this one. Tried to fire, now put on choke. That's it, she's running good. Alright, this one here is a 2011 Steel BG86. The 55 is a 2009 model. Uh, both of these are 27cc. This one here is a stratified charged motor. And the 86 was a replacement to the older BG85. This one has semi automatic choke. So that means if I put my. if I run my trimmer on choke and then I. Up the throttle, it automatically goes to the run position, so there's not need there's no need for a partial choke unless it's a warm start. Alright, primer is here. One, two, three, 
four. Not hold the throttle this time. And I should expect it to run as beautifully as the 55. Sounds a lot quieter too. This one here is a 2009 Steel BR420. This one has a 57.5 cc engine, pure two stroke. Magnum. 18 pounds, so it's pretty lightweight per lower. All right, turn this thing on. Put on choke. This one has no primer, so it's very, very easy to flood this machine if you crank it too many times. Okay, put on to run. save the best for last. Uh, we'll try this one here is a 2013 steel BR430 which is a replacement for the older 420. This one has a 60.3 cc motor it's a 2 mix. Same one as the BR350 uh, save for a um, much more stronger nozzle and fan as well as the Velocity Start handle. Alrighty. Now how does choke work again? Okay, is this on choke? Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, that's on choke. It's been a while. Alright, primer. One, two, three, four. All right, I did clean the spark arrestor screen. Uh, it wasn't easy to get to. Basically what I had to do is I had to remove these three T27 screws to take out the uh, pulsar assembly. And then there was one screw, one screw, one screw here to take out the plastic cover. And T star 20 for these two bolts, which will uh, take out the spark rusher screen. Um, I actually cleaned it with um, wire brush, and that was it, and everything came off. So we'll see how it runs. Hopefully it sounds a lot smoother than it did during the last time I used it, back in October of last year. Anyway.
big improvement. Awesome. Love it. For the last 2012 Steel BR550. Turtle shell backpack. Very light, almost like 21 pounds. Okay, there we go. Gas is going in. Two, three. I don't even know why I would need to prime it. Usually they always start in one pull. But, see how it is? Like my others, it's got semi automatic choke. I want to see if you're looking at it. Oh, hang on. There we go. All right. Five fifty rocks. Woo! Look at that one pull. Gotta love your steel, that's for sure. Told you, best for last. <laughs> That since November, and now it's May. Thing runs flawlessly, and still haven't adjusted the uh, valve on this one yet. but it does the job I needed to and more. I just love the sound of these four mix. I mean it sounds strong. Awesome. All right, everyone, so this is a week later. I wanted to withhold posting the video uh, because I really wanted to get the trimmers back. So the only one that's not with me right now is the Homelite Z25 SD. So if you notice that it has a broken throttle cable here, it should be like this. But the only problem is when I got it at the repair store, I mean, if you check it between here and here. Uh, yeah, there we go. You can see how long the original is. So, unfortunately, the home lights can't be fixed, at least not anytime soon. So, I'm going to have to go and uh, get a new part and fix that up. But I still have the 22F and FS70 to start. Now, those ones have been started by the guy, of course, he had to repair them. And it's kind of a warm start because they were previously running, so I'll uh, show you how they start. Alright, so this is the, whoops. Uh, this is the 22F. And this is the FS70. Alright, so Japanese trimmer and a US German trimmer. All right, so this is the FF70 right here. This is the 27.2 cc uh, two mix motor, uh, double ring compression, semi-automatic choke. So all it came for is a new spark plug. 
two, three. And like this, like my other steel trimmers, I don't really need to hold the throttle. And we'll see how that one starts. Of course, it has been warmed up. Oh. They need more gas. All right. Uh, yeah, there's just no more, very few gas in there, so it's not gonna get some. So we're using fresh 89 octane with steel oil. Ah, oh, there we go. Now, now it should start. All it came for was just a spark plug. Alright, now this one here, this Shendaiwa 22F is officially back in service. Main problem was that my choke assembly wasn't working properly. Now I have full choke and off choke. Now this hard starting symptoms that I've been experiencing for the past six years, no more. Let's out let's see how easy this is gonna start. Got on four primes. And this was about close to two hours of uh, not used. You can see considerably easier than last time. And this one is made in Japan. Yeah, that was the only thing wrong with it. It's just the choke assembly was uh, broken. I just ordered a new one. It was about ten dollars, and that brought back my trimmer in A1 running condition. So the only thing that's left to start is the uh, Zeti 25 ST that needs carb adjustments as well as a new throttle cable. Other than that, both trimmers run perfect, and all the other ones started as well too. So hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry if I uploaded this kind of late. But I did want to try to get the other trimmers back so that way I could try to make a complete startup video of them. So hope you enjoyed everyone. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more vids.